Well, hi everybody, it's Mr. Anime here. It'd be fun to read my old journal. Hello guys. Today we're going to cover some of the most evil and deranged people who ever decided to use the site that we are all on right now, YouTube, and in many cases posted the insights of their disturbed mind for everyone to see. But before we go on, I would really like to invite you to subscribe to the channel because it really means a lot to me as well as it helps the channel out tremendously. Thanks guys. Okay, back to the video. Tony 48219 Anthony Powell was an American YouTuber whose channel Tony 48219 revolved solely around attacking African American women and atheists. As time went on, his content became even more deranged and absurd, so much so that his viewers expressed concern for his mental health and well-being. Power was studying filmmaking at the Henry Ford College in Michigan. It was there that he encountered a young woman called Asia McGowan, a student and also a fellow YouTuber whose channel revolved around dance and comedy. Asia was also a huge advocate for atheism and women's rights, both subjects that Anthony hated with all of his heart. So much so that he would harass Asia in college numerous times. This all came to an end on April 13th, 2009 when both YouTubers would lose their lives. On that day, Anthony Powell went straight to Asia's classroom and fatally shot her before shooting himself and ending his own life. Peluchin Entertainment Real name Matias Ignacio Vera Oyarzo is a 19-year-old YouTuber from Chile. In the beginning, his content consisted of him sketching his stuffed animals and horror video playthroughs like Five Nights at Freddy's. And in all honesty, he wasn't good in neither of these two practices. But in the end of 2018, he would post a video so cruel that shocked and enraged the entire YouTube community. On December 18th, 2018, a video was posted on Peluchin Entertainment channel. In the video, we would see Matthias violently torturing his cat Jason Kruger, so much so that the poor animal died. Then he would go on to buy two more kittens and also film the abuse for the whole YouTube to see. These videos rightfully caused anger in many people who wanted him banned from the site immediately. The ban was finalized in 2021, but he somehow got his channel back, I don't know how. Mr. Anime Real name Eric Sessler first started his YouTube channel then named Landscape Productions in 2006 at 17 years old. The content consisted of short action skits with him and his friends doing various fight scenes and such, lots and lots of gore. Later on he decided to rebrand his channel as Mr. Anime and started doing anime reviews and was doing pretty well for himself. But by the end of the channel, he started making more and more disturbing videos, like showing off his gun collection while drunk and even ranking serial killers and talking about various school shootings that happened in recent history. Inspired by these monsters, he decided to commit the biggest school shooting in history at his former high school in Texas. But first, he had some other things to do. That leads us to the morning of March 20th, 2012, when Trey would kill his entire family before going on a killing spree. But he changed his mind and turned himself in. He managed to escape the death penalty but was given life in prison. He will never be a free man again. Randy Stare Randy was an American YouTuber 
from Pennsylvania, who started his channel Pioneers Productions way back in 2008 and would upload these very low quality sketches featuring him and his two pet animals, a rubber orange frog and a stuffed whale. He was obviously a passionate filmmaker who also enjoyed Nickelodeon cartoons, specifically the show Danny Phantom, created by Butch Hartman in 2004. There was one character that really stood up to him, and that was Amber McLean, so much so that he would claim numerous times that she was his first crush and his goddess. So he decided to end Pioneer's productions and start a new channel called Amber's Ghost Squad, named after Amber McLean. He would make these animations depicting Amber McLean as the main character, along with other characters. The vibe of this series was very dark and violent, so it never gained much traction outside of Randy's small fanbase. The problem was, however, that Randy started to believe the characters were real and became obsessed with the afterlife, claiming that when he dies he will be reborn in the Amber's Ghost Squad as Andrew Blaze, his alter ego. As his depression worsened, he decided to kill himself to be with his Amber, but due to a coin flip, decided to do it at his workplace, the Wise Supermarket. So on June 8, 2017, he barricaded the supermarket exits, killed his three co-workers before turning a gun on himself, ending his life. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.